pages of simple sketches that I created related to my abstract theme. My theme was the musical instruments I played. So you will see some simple sketches of flutes, piano keys, music notes, drumsticks, and portions of uh, guitars. So that was my theme and I filled two pages with simple sketches just like you did. And I'm going to be pulling from those two pages of sketches and picking out my favorite shapes and favorite views in order to incorporate them into an abstract composition on a full page in my art journal. This is not as easy as it seems. When you're sketching on your art journal, not only are you filling the entire page to create your abstract piece of artwork, but you do want to think about balance. All the sizes and proportions of the items that you draw should be relatively similar. You don't want either a really large background or one really huge object to overtake or dominate your piece. You also want to do this lightly so that you can go back and rework and add to it until you have achieved a really high quality composition that's abstract and it's really quite a bit harder than it looks if this is something that you have never done. Finally, your goal is to create a series of closed shapes. Every single thing that you draw on this paper should be touching. You don't want a lot of large spaces in the background and you don't want a bunch of little mini pieces of artwork floating individually on your page. That is not what this is. So the more you're attaching the things to each other and the more you're drawing objects that are connected or overlapping, the more they're all going to blend together to make an abstract composition. And this is not the easiest thing in the world. So you are able to fill the page however you want. If you feel like you're a good drawler and you can balance out what you're drawing, you don't have to use this tip. But I do often have people that don't know where to start and they don't know how to tackle an abstract composition. So I would say that the easiest thing is to look at your two pages of sketches that you started with and choose either the object that you felt you drew the best or the object that you felt is the most visually appealing it visually appealing, excuse me, and put it right in the center of your journal page, which I want you to sort of pretend this is. And then what you're going to be doing is working outward from that central object. So this is the portion of the flute that is actually the bottom of it, where you would actually see the keys on the side. We're sort of staring into the bottom of the flute. And I'm using that as my central image. Every single thing I then attach to this or add to this page will anchor itself to that central object. Uh, when you're doing this, you want to use precision, so I probably should have used a compass to make that circle nice and round, and I would want to use a ruler to make all of my lines nice and straight because these are going to be pretty simplistic drawings, so you want them to have a nice crisp appearance to them. Now, every single thing that you see me add to this paper that I'm drawing from my first step, I'm going to make sure it anchors onto that central image until I work myself all the way off of the page and there is not a lot of large background. So I went over and I traced all of my lines in black permanent marker so that you could see them really well. And as you can see, my entire journal page, if this was my journal page, is filled with a series of drawings that stem from my first step. I started with that central image and then every single thing that I added, I changed the proportions. I made sure that they were all around equal size and every single item that I drew, I made sure that it either attached itself to that central item or any other item that I drew from that central image. This eliminates large areas of background space that would dominate your piece, and you're left with a nice balanced composition that you could then start to color in using mixed media and thinking about staggering your colors to create that same sense of balance.